All right, guys. Well, I uh, I realized something. We really haven't done a whole lot of overlooking on my trailer. I know we kind of did a trailer video, like, hey, let's look underneath it and stuff, but we haven't really done a review. I haven't talked about it a bunch. Uh, there's really not much to talk about. I, I like the trailer. It pulls good. I mean, it's got two 8Ks under it. It says it weighs 59.65. I thought it was 58.50, but 59.65, so I can carry 13,150 pounds. Um, it's got two 8Ks, which is 16,000, I know, but uh, they rated it 18K. So I, I'll never have another equipment trailer without at least 8Ks under it, I can tell you that. The brakes on this are just bananas compared to just a 7k axle i mean it'll stop that 450 um I, no complaints i wish it was two foot longer and on the deck and i wish i had max ramps they didn't have one in stock i mean it wasn't it wasn't that i didn't want to get one they just didn't have one in stock this hauls everything i have i mean i put the excavator on the track stops right there it, it balances it out good skid loader sits there it's balanced good uh tractor sits on it It'd be nice if it was two foot longer for the tractor but that's every tractor every guy with a tractor and a brush hog um i wish it had the max ramps instead of these it'd just be a little easier because they're sprung both ways instead of one these aren't heavy i mean it's not bad uh i wish this was designed a little better because the ramps they kind of chew up my my rubbers that hold the that hold the lights in when the ramp cams over it kind of hits this bottom lip and it chews them up but it doesn't punch the lights out like that other trailer i had that other trailer you spin it over and it like punch the lights out i definitely like the 17 fives i like the oil bath hubs you know if you need to go up and check them real quick you got grease in it got grease in it you're good to go change it once a year or something and see ya i like all the lights i like the turn signal on the side um you know me and rub rail we did rub rail on that other load trail it's got rub rail chain spools and stake pockets all the way down it um if i had a choice i wouldn't have my spare tire there and i don't carry it i'd have this jack here just because you know you either have to lean in and push that down well i want to put a toolbox here so then you have to like try to get your leg in between the toolbox so i keep saying it but we're going to move this to here and then that way you can just push it with your foot and cam it over and you don't need the rod and then i'm going to put a toolbox there um it does have a toolbox mount over on the other side we'll show you which i really like and I like to clean out. I mean, I like everything on the trailer. That's why you guys really haven't seen a lot on the trailer. If, I mean, you know, I, if I like it, I say something about it, I guess. But that's what I'm doing now. So, it's already got a prefabricated bracket in here for a 48-inch toolbox. My problem is, is most 48-inch toolboxes, so this is 12 inches from here to here. Well, then that looks like it's about another 12 inches to the ground, maybe a little less. So if you put a toolbox here, even if you suck it up here and burn that inch or so, and you can still get your door open, you're going to hang down. Most toolboxes are like 18 inches tall. I think I'm maybe I found one that was 15, but you're still going to be three inches below that step. Do you really want to be... I mean, I go off-road, and we're out in the country, and I'm going in, like, you know, not-so-nice ditches and driveways and new construction, and it'd be different if it just if it just sat on the street. Maybe. I still think I'd probably hit the bottom of the toolbox being six inches off the ground. I'd love to put a toolbox here. Maybe we'll build one. Um, if anybody knows of a manufacturer, I need a, 12, I need a, a toolbox 12 inches tall. 13 inches deep and 48 or you know so inches wide that that's what i'd like if somebody knows a manufacturer that makes one shoot me a comment down below and let me know otherwise uh, i think we're going to make a toolbox i'd like to have a toolbox for like straps and stuff 
and then I'll have this other toolbox up on the tongue to hold like the chain and everything else but storage is never a bad thing you you never have enough storage but anyways it's a, a load trail deck over two eight case this is 22 foot so it's 17 foot on the flat with a five foot dove is what this is and that's that's what they call the heavy duty ramps um we did a walk around i think with chance at the dealer um up at cooper trailer is where i bought it good guy um i can put his information down in the comments tell him you you uh, got sent there by lawn tamers or jason at skidco he won't know jason at skidco but he knows lawn tamers um anyways but uh nice trailer super heavy wheels i mean it's it, it's definitely nice you've got plenty of trailer to haul what i own um again you guys with the dozers would a haul a dozer on it no but i don't own a dozer everybody always says you can't haul a dozer on it i, I don't know what the deal is with dozers I, if i had a dozer i'd pay this one guy he hauls stuff for 150 to 175 dollars depending on where he's going i'd pay him and i wouldn't own the truck i mean I, I don't know that's pretty cheap my time's worth something fuel and upkeep on a truck and everything else i wouldn't haul a dozer like every day i mean it's not like a skid loader and you haul it to a different job site every day but anyway so yes you guys with dozers i wouldn't put a dozer on it but i'd put the equipment that i own on it and haul it and i've got way more trailer than i need so it's nice but there you go there's the trailer we're gonna get this girl off and we're gonna go to mowing so i appreciate you guys watching um if you don't know i am on instagram now i'm not a big social media guy but everybody kept telling me you need to be on instagram you need to be on instagram i'm on instagram so if you want to follow me on instagram it is skidco llc s-k-i-d-c-o llc so find me on instagram maybe we'll have some different videos on there than what we normally have on our uh, youtube channel so just another outlet so if you guys enjoy my my uh videos and whatnot go ahead and follow me on instagram if you would and i'd appreciate it thanks have a good day